Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Study Assam. We are covering a series in which we will cover biographies of all eminent personalities of Assam, which is very important from APSC mains GS paper 5. Even in the recent APSC mains, many questions were asked from this topic. Puspalata Das was an Indian independence activist, social worker, Gandhian, and legislator from the Northeast Indian state of Assam. She was a member of Rajya Sabha from 1951 to 1961, a member of the Assam Legislative Assembly and a member of the Working Committee of the Indian National Congress. She served as the chairperson of Assam chapters of the Kasturba Gandhi National Memorial Trust and Khadian Village Industries Commission. The Government of India awarded her the third highest civilian honor of the Padma Bhushan in 1999 for her contribution to the society. Now let us discuss her early life. Puspalata Vadas was born on 27 March 1915 to Rameswar Saikya and Swarnalata in North Lakhimpur in Assam. Puspalata Das did her schooling at Pan Bajar Girls High School. She started her political activities from school days and was the secretary of an organization by name Mukti Sangha. In 1931, she and her comrades organized a protest against the hanging of the revolutionary Bhagat Singh by the British Raj and was expelled from the school. She continued her studies as a private student and passed the matriculation examination in 1934, after which she joined Banaras Hindu University to complete her intermediate course. Later, she graduated from Andhra University and secured postgraduate degree from the same university in 1938. Subsequently, she enrolled herself for studies in law at Arle Law College, Guwahati, where she continued her student politi politics. She was the secretary of the college union in 1940. It was during this time Gandhiji called for individual satyagra as a part of civil disobedience movement and as a precursor to the Quit India movement, which would be launched two years later, and Puspalata Das participated in the movement. She was imprisoned, which effectively cut short her law studies. Now let us discuss political life. Due to her association with National Planning Committee, as a member of its Women's Subcommittee, Puspalata Das moved to Mumbai that year and stayed there for two years. Her activities gave her opportunities to work alongside Mridula Sarabhai and Vijaya Lakshmi Pandit as well as Omeo Kumar Das, then sitting member of the Assam Legislative Assembly. She married Omeo Kumar Das in 1942. She returned to Assam after her marriage and formed two organizations, Santi Bahini and Mrityu Bahini. In September 1942, Puspalata Das and her comrades of Mrityu Bahini led a protest to the local police station holding the national flag of India and it was at this procession the police opened fire which led to the death of her colleague Kanaklata Barwa. By that time, she had already become a member of All India Congress Committee and a convener of the women's wing of the Assam Congress Committee and reportedly worked to get Assam out of the grouping with East Pakistan. After the Indian independence in 1947, Puspalata Das and Omeo Kumar Das focused their activities in Dhekiajoli in Assam, which Omeo Kumar Das represented in Assam Legislative Assembly for successive terms from 1951 to 1967. Puspalata Das herself was nominated, nominated to the Rajya Sabha in 1951 and held the position till 1961. It was during this period she led the 1957 election campaign of Chandra Baba Saikiani from Bajali constituency. Later, she was elected to the Congress Working Committee in 1958 and the next year, she visited a number of East European countries as a member of the parliamentary delegation. In 1967, she contested from Dhekia Juli when her husband vacated the constituency, winning the election representing Indian National Congress and repeated the success in 1971. After the death of her husband on 23 January 1975, Puspalata Das withdrew from parliamentary politics and concentrated more on social service. She served as the chairperson of Assam chapters of All India Khadi Board and chaired the state boards of Bhodan and Gramdan initiatives. She was also associated with 
Central Social Welfare Board and served as a member of the women's section of the Congress Planning Committee and the East India Wing of the Censors Board of India. She edited the, edited the Assamese magazine Jayanti and headed the Assam branch of the Kasturba Gandhi National Memorial Trust for a certain period of time. She also published one book, Raja Rama Shukla, Raste Atma Varkazva Evam Kritidva Sun, Sun 1898-1962, released in 1976. Now let's discuss award and honors. The government of India honored her with Tamra Patra Freedom Fighter Award, but she declined it saying she participated in India Indian freedom struggle without expecting returns. In 1999, the government awarded her the third highest civilian honor of the Padma Bhushan. Toward the later days of her life, she suffered from age-related illness and had to be moved to Woodlands Nursing Home in Kolkata, where she died on 9 November 2003 at the age of 88, survived by her daughter Nandani and her husband Sasankadatta. I hope you like this video. Please like this video and subscribe my channel in order to receive notification of future biographies of eminent personalities of Assam. Thank you.